That shoe tying scene had nothing to do with any of this, but I just figured. Hope you are doing well, happy. Uh, I don't even have a clue what day it is anymore. But one thing I realized in life is when you don't know what day it is whatsoever, that means you're really enjoying life because you're not anticipating certain days and not looking forward to other days. Every day is a great day. That's the way I live my life. So recently, a lot of people have asked me what I use my iPad Pro for because clearly you've seen if you watch a lot of these vlogs that I use my iPad all the time. It's always right next to me here on the desk and it's also the only thing that I usually bring with me places. And the short answer of what I use my iPad Pro for is everything except for video video editing. Outside of the main video editing and photo editing with programs like Final Cut or Premiere or Lightroom, which I have to use the computer for, every single other thing that I do in like everyday life is completely on an iPad. That's kind of the easiest answer. So right now on my iPad I have Fantastical up, which Fantastical is an amazing calendar application. It is just the best of the best. I do not use Apple's built-in. I use Fantastical on the iPad, on my iPhone. It's just a tremendous app. It I just love it. So calendars above all. And since everybody will ask, what case do I use with this? This is actually called the Zag Messenger case. And even though it is bulky and it's probably makes the iPad weigh three times or four times what it actually does, I really like this case for two reasons. Number one, it has a keyboard, which is the obvious. I do a lot of typing on my iPad, so I like to have a keyboard. It also has a magnetic stand here, so you can like put it at any angle that you prefer and it just magnetizes and stays instantly. But what I love the most about it is that this is just a magnet. So this just pops out like that and suddenly you have the iPad Pro in a nice easy to carry case that has six feet drop protection or something like that. And then it also has an iPad pencil, Apple pencil holder built into it, which I love. So I love being able to just grab this and do whatever I want for everyday iPad use. But then out of nowhere, bam, magnet, magnet, and you're ready to work. Just feeling super grateful today. I don't know if it's just that it's Thanksgiving week, but I'm just so thankful for what I get to do and the fact that like the videos that I edit 90% of the time have a purpose behind them. They have a purpose whether it is to lift somebody up um, with encouragement through some of the videos I do for the church, whether it's to challenge people through YouTube videos, whether it's wedding videos which are designed to help people relive their incredible days. Everything I do video wise is like it has a real purpose and that's just super exciting that that's like what I get to do full time. It's just awesome. I mean, I know that every job like has a purpose, like no matter what you do, there's a purpose for the job itself, but not everybody loves the job. See, I just think that too many people are driven so much in their careers and driven in what they're looking to do in life that they're driven so much by money and they're driven so much by whatever job can make me the most money or whatever opportunity can make me the most money, that's the one I take and they take the next best job and the next best this. And yet so many people I think are working jobs that they don't love just because they make a lot of money. If we were to put more value into what what do we really want to do with life? What do we really want to um, have people say about us when we leave this earth? What legacy do we want to have? I think we'd all look a lot differently at the things we do. And I think that that's just super important to do what you love to do and let the money come from that. And I know that that's not always possible. It's not possible to just say, okay, well, I absolutely love to write, so I'm going to make a living. I know that there are difficulties behind that. But I just think if we were to focus more on not the money and more about what we really love doing, we'd all be happier. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere I go. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you You should have seen how on time I was going to be to that one o'clock meeting. Dude, you should, you should, you should have seen how good. <laughs> you should have seen how <laughs> I was gonna be. I guess I was just 30 minutes early is what it was. There they are, the dream team. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you guys? Okay, well that meeting went a little bit longer than I wanted to, but it actually was a productive meeting. We're talking a lot lately about 2018 and what the next year looks like. 2018 is going to be the first full year that I'm doing 4LC Studios full time. So it's important to just have a game plan. You got to have a plan or you ain't going to reach your goals. So getting back to a little bit more of the use behind what I use the iPad Pro for a lot is another thing that I really like to do is once I'm completely finished with the film and I've watched it on a higher quality monitor and I've watched it and listened to it through headphones and different things on my main computer, I like to 
export that film and I like to airdrop it directly in full quality to my iPad Pro and then I watch it on the iPad Pro with just the built-in iPad Pro speakers because regardless of how good my headphones are or how good a monitor is or how good a color calibrated monitor is, the average person doesn't watch it on those devices. They watch it on something like an iPad or an iPhone or something like that. And so I really feel it's important, which I've talked about before, it's really important to watch your films, the completed final finals that you have exported for the couple to watch them on multiple devices because you'd be surprised how different stuff translates every once in a while when you have it on high fidelity speakers and the perfect ideal setup and then you watch it on a phone or on something different and it actually doesn't translate the same way. One of the number one things that I use my iPad for is my social media and communication hub. If you look at almost all of my apps on the home screen. It is YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Facebook pages, podcasting, just everything that is my social hub. And I really like to have like a dedicated device or devices, I should say, to social media platforms because when I'm working on my computer, I find that it's very easy to get distracted if I have Twitter notifications and YouTube notifications and all those things on my computer because as they pop up in front of my face while I'm editing, I can be really thrown off and not stay in the zone. Where if I really dedicate, let's say this iPad for example, or even my phone as the dedicated um, device for those, it's good because I can turn the notifications off on those devices and then when I go and have a second of free time if I'm exporting something and I wanna go check on social media, I dedicate one device that really keeps all the notifications of things on here. So big difference is that on my phone, I have no notifications for things like Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and all those platforms that I use so regularly. No notifications being on that. That enables me to know if I actually wanna be productive in a social media environment or I really wanna check on things, I can pull up my iPad and my iPad's the only one that actually has all those notifications on it and I can stay really productive in that in that phase when I'm on the iPad versus when I'm on my phone I can do things that are different and when I'm on my computer I'm only doing things that are really business oriented. So it really allows me to use these devices to separate things as well, not just what device I feel like using at any given time. They all have their uses and the more and more that I feel like you can integrate something like an iPad as not just an extension of your computer but it's its own computer. There are things that I can't do on the computer that I can do so seamlessly and fast on the iPad that I love. And with the built-in LTE on the iPad, it's really convenient for me because I can take that one device to anywhere and not have to worry about hopping on their Wi-Fi or, or connecting with this, or I just can use it instantaneously, open it up, check some email, check some social media stuff, and I can keep the laptop at home a little bit more. And I like to be able to do that because the iPad's just much more portable. The battery life lasts so much longer. I can plug it into a USB power bank and just have battery life forever. And one of the biggest things that I love about the iPad is the Apple Pencil. And whether you have a Surface Pro and you have the Surface Pen, the whole point, a stylus, something like that where you can really draw. I really find the iPad is my go-to tool that if I'm just literally brainstorming, let's say I'm brainstorming um, a gear change and, and I'm trying to figure out what camera I want to get for this to do this and something like that. And I want to write pros and cons or I want to just sketch things around. My brain works so different when I have a tactile device that I can write on. I'm not a pen and paper person, but I'm absolutely an Apple Pencil fan and just the idea of not drawing, but just jotting things down. So without question, this is absolutely my go-to device when I am just brainstorming ideas or figuring out new ideas or working on things. And that's something that the laptop can't do. That's something that my iPhone can't do. It's only something unique to the iPad Pro. So I'm really finding that there's more and more uses for bringing this into my creative workflow other than just the everyday purpose of it's a big phone. Because I don't look at it as that it's just a big 10 and a half inch iPhone or that it's just a smaller version of a laptop. I look at it as a device that does something that nothing else can. From a productive standpoint, the Adobe Lightroom CC app is absolutely one of my favorite apps that I use all the time when I'm actually culling through images and deciding on good ones and deleting ones that aren't good and then 
then this just syncs through Lightroom Mobile right to my computer and it's really convenient. I can sit on the couch and cull through images really easy and because it's built in LTE, it just syncs in real time. It's super useful for me because I don't need a computer and the bulk of a computer and the bulk of battery life to choose the best images from a photo shoot. I love being able to do it all on here and then being able to do all the fine touching of color and all that on the iPad with a pencil is something I love. So hopefully that explains a little bit more what I use my iPad for. It's a vital tool in what I do from a business standpoint and especially with a program like Tave where I do all my client communication, emails, invoices, contracts, every aspect of what I do in Tave can be done entirely and is usually done entirely in the iPad and that is huge for me because I love that I can do anything when it comes to client communication and business stuff entirely on this device. I do not need a laptop to do anything that I do for my business except for the main editing and that's huge for me because if I can carry this around more and moving into the future carrying it around more and more and more it is a clear win for me. But that's it for the majority of the day. Good overall day. Uh, let's go spend some time with the family. Bye. Bye.